Mr. Sesho Mahaba, head CEO process. Thank you to all the panelists for taking the time to join us for this panel session today. Uh, before we begin with the uh, panel session proper, perhaps you can start with a round of introduction of yourself and your company. So perhaps you can start with uh, Mr. Session. Sure. Thank you, Matthias. I'm uh, Seishu Mago Bendi. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Flow Systems. We are a Silicon Valley startup based in California. And uh, we focus on uh, thermal technology. We've developed the world's first solid state active cooling chip. One of the things that people forget is when you talk about transformation of devices, it's not enough to just talk about processors and software. You also have to talk about things, other things that it takes to actually build a device of the future. And two of the areas that are often neglected are batteries, because you need a power source for your device. And the other is the thermal solution, because all that power that the batteries provide to the processors for running your software eventually converts into heat. So if you don't have a very good thermal solution, then your devices are going to be throttling and you'll get less performance. So we, Flow Systems, decided to focus on the thermal technology challenge. And uh, we've come up with a very innovative solution called AirJet, which basically does the same job as a fan and a heat sink. And it's only 2.5 millimeters thick and it's a chip. So it enables you to build highly compact devices that can deliver very really high performance. Thank you, Mr. Sesho. Thank you, Mr. Sesho. I think, uh, Mr. Sesho, I think in our earlier discussions, we also talked about something very interesting, which is about heat generation in the devices. So, uh, with these devices becoming more powerful and compact, so efficient thermal managing uh, solutions are critical and crucial. So, how is Pro Systems addressing the challenges of heat dissipation in next generation devices? So, can you also discuss any recent breakthroughs or future technologies that will help keep future devices cooler and more efficient? Certainly, certainly. So, like I said, you know, I mean, for a future uh, technology to really take root and deliver the promise, it's not enough to just have innovation in, in silicon and software. There are lots of other things that go into building these products, and you need to have rapid innovation in these other areas as well. Two areas that really stand out are battery, and there's actually a lot of uh, research and development and a lot of innovation is happening in the battery space. But it doesn't get as much attention as it should. We, as a professional organization, really need to start paying more attention to that. And similarly, thermal. Actually, there's not that much innovation in thermal, frankly. Uh, you know, if you ask, OK, how do I remove heat? People will say, well, use a fan. But all these devices that we're talking about, like x rays AR, or special computing, or, you know, uh, speakers from China, Unicom and Qualcomm uh, did a great job of talking about all these you know, great products that are going to deliver AI experiences uh, on device. Uh, you have you know, smart watches, you have uh, virtual reality, you have smartphones, you have tablets, you have you know, ultra thin notebooks. These are all going to deliver uh, AI experiences, but that requires a very powerful processor with a lot of software running on them. We got CPUs, GPUs, and PUs, the gentleman from Qualcomm talked about that. But they all take power. And if you don't have a means for removing that power efficiently, then they will have to consume less power. But the heat has to go somewhere. If it goes nowhere, then the device will just get hotter and hotter and hotter and eventually melt. So, or it will burn your fingers. So you, the only way you can control the amount of heat generated is by reducing the amount of power you consume. Unless you have a really good an effective thermal solution in your device that can efficiently remove that heat. And if you look at those solutions, it's always been nothing or fan. You know, all of these devices are actually too small to have a fan in them, and nobody wants a fan because they're bulky, they're noisy, and they create a vibration. And also, inevitably, if you have a fan, your product cannot be dust proof and waterproof. So nobody wants to go upon those attributes, so you don't have a fan, which means that the only way you have for removing heat is passively removing heat, which means heat has radiated out of the device. 
And that is a very limited amount of heat you can do that way. So there is absolutely a need for a tremendous amount of innovation in thermal. And so that's what we're doing. We are perhaps at the vanguard of that revolution to really bring in new technology uh, to make a massive leapfrog uh, in how heat is managed in this process. So we've created, as I said, uh, the world's first solid state active cooling chip. This uses MEMS technology. And when you power it on, it actually creates a very powerful airflow through the chip that removes the heat. And it can work in ultra thin devices, compact devices, because it's very small and thin. And it actually is so powerful that it can also work in dust proof and waterproof devices. So, and this is just the beginning, this is our first generation product. Because we are using semiconductor technology, we have the ability to continuously improve the performance of this chip every generation. We call it Frost Law, that's like most law. So we, we tend to double the performance every two years. So these chips are going to get more and more powerful and they become, they'll become an integral part of anything you can you want to talk about as uh, a means for realizing a true AI at the edge. Uh, because without a cutting edge thermal solution, you bring such a future for Airjet by Frost Systems. Do more.